This conference will now be recorded. Be recorded a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lecon. We appreciate that. And thank you, Toby, for everything you did too. All right. Next best you had there. Questions on the jails and services. I didn't have I didn't have questions on it. I wanted to know where we were at with it because all I got was what was on Facebook or in the paper. So I would like a little knockdown of where we are as the RPD and what we're doing. This is really, I guess, none of my business what the county does. I guess it's more my business what RPD does. Madam Chair, Council Bass, uh, I can speak to a little bit of it. I won't speak for the police department. I don't believe uh, anything has changed on the police department side. You know, myself and Mr. Cole met with the county manager to make sure that they didn't need assistance from us. We offered our assistance, anything that we could do. He said he felt like they had it. Um, so uh, that's from the city to the county uh, management. I'll let the chief or the deputy chief speak to if anything's changed on their side because of the incidents at the, the detention center. But, yeah, nothing's changed on our side. Uh, the sheriff's department's no longer in the facility. I think they have deputies going by every now and then to try to just check on them. Yeah. Uh, but they moved out. I think it's been a week now or so. Uh, they moved out. They haven't requested RPD's assistance. Of course, we're there if they have an uprising. Um, the stuff I heard from police officers was some of the inmates initially after the director walked out and the medical staff left, they had done a little, not big uprising, but a small uprising, flooding the, a couple of the cells and stuff, but that was taken care of and gotten under control pretty quickly from what I understand. So there was no, um, no riot or anything like that. I know Facebook put out there some stuff of, uh, you know, not all truce, but uh, uh, talking to our officers and, and officers from other agencies. Uh, it wasn't as bad as probably social media made it out to, but everything's under control as of right now, the last I heard, uh, but uh, I had a, was gonna go to a meeting tonight, but wasn't feeling good and probably would have seen the sheriff there if I did uh, talk to him about it, you know, offer whatever assistance we can. I just kind of curious, cause it just was kind of left up in the air and then it just disappeared. And I just wanted to make sure that this follows through. Well, we immediately uh, had a meeting with the county manager, offered our assistance in any way uh, Nothing was asked of us at that time. I was told that if they needed something to call us, they had to reach out to us. So we're, we're assuming we're good. Hopefully they'll hire a replacement soon. I was told that uh, because it went out there so fast, the people were already sending applications ready before they even put it out for bid or anything. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any monthly reports from police? All I have, like I said, this is my first meeting, so I didn't really know what, but I, I can tell you uh, just on our staffing, um, we have 91 officers right now. Uh, we might have a retirement at the end of the month. Uh, it's back to 90 and we have four more in the hopper uh, that are going through the process. We're hoping we'll be hired by July. So I'll put our numbers up to 94, which still leaves us 10 down. I met with the uh, recruiting officer last week, talked to her about what she was doing and she's she's doing a lot of work and she's got a lot of people on her board testing. So she showed me how they track everything and, and what they do. So she she's doing a good job uh, from what I've seen and you know, I'd like to uh, like to get those numbers up definitely by the by the end of the year. But we run one more recruit school or academy before the end of the year. So It'd be hard to get any additional in unless we get some lateral recruits from other agencies, which is a possibility. I heard that uh, Sergeant Preston is retiring in a month. That's that's what that? that's what we've heard. Yes, I'm sorry. Do you have a replacement for her? Concern? We will. We we don't yet. We me and the deputy chief talked. We'll probably put up uh, an officer instead of a supervisor in that role. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you know it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have a supervisor in a role by themselves. So um, we'll start looking at it and probably put it out to see who's interested in, and find the right person that's gonna do it instead of telling somebody you're gonna do neighborhood watch. We wanna find that right person that's yeah. gonna do well, but that'll definitely, uh, that program will definitely continue. Okay, thank you. Do you have anything, Deputy? 
No, ma'am. Fire. The baby box is in. I know. I saw that. Now we're just on a mission to find somebody that helps put it in. Wait, construction. They're very anti-abortion and everything, so she'll. Uh, she's talking to her husband. But I, I did email you. Can we use part of that grant to pay for part of it, the install? I believe so. I'm trying to get her to donate it, but she knows we got the grant, so she was wondering why. So if you could. Kind of yeah, I it. ask uh, our division chief bunch to check on the balance in that account. Okay. Those what's left in that account. Okay. Because I don't know if that grant paid for the box or if the donations paid for the box. I think the donations paid for the box. The grant, well, it was made for that, but we right. we wanted we to use the grant. We need to lower our camera. It's tired of seeing this. <laughs> she wants to see our face. Sorry. I reach out. But uh, whatever's left, we just will use for the annual fee. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be a big deal when we get that in. And then I need to know the plaque size. I'm going to figure that out for you. <laughs> so you're hiring again? Yes. Um, so far, the applications that are coming in, several of them look pretty good. They've already got their EMT basic. Um, we've got two, it looks like, that are able to come out of graduating. Uh, I'm not sure exactly whether it's through a community college in Lubbock or wh who it's actually through, but they've got a little academy over there. That's two of them are just graduating that, so they're coming out of that fully certified and applying. That's easy for you then. On the downside, we're down 13, and I think we're at five, possibly six, that have resigned to go to Eddy County at this point. How many are you looking to put in the academy? <laughs> we're hoping for at least 13 is the minimum. Yeah, because um, those will drop out. Yeah. The other thing we're doing a little bit different, we've never done it before, but we're going to actually hold two tryout days. The first day is going to be what we're going to call an open tryout day on the 8th of July, which basically we're just going to invite anybody that's interested in trying it to come and try out the physical test. Um, if we get applicants that are able to pass it and are interested in going to the next step, we'll be able to take them in the training room, out into the training field, and set them down at the computer and fill, help them fill out an application and get them started that way. And then the 22nd is when we're going to have our traditional regular tryout with the application applicants that we're getting. Okay. Good. So did any of your boys that went <clears throat> down to Eddy County, have any of them decided that they didn't like it down there and came back? One. One. I hope there ends up being more. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I think that's it. Emergency management, you have any updates? No, just that it's the end of the quarter, end of the year, finishing up, closing out grants. Um, we meet tomorrow at the airport with Jennifer Brady to talk about the airport exercise that's coming up. So um, you guys will make sure somebody from PD goes to that. I think I sent you the calendar out, but I'll send a special invite out again. Yeah, we'll see, because I think three of us are going to be headed up there to get cars and one command staff in uh, Military, another one had surgery, so oh, yeah. we'll kind of. I, I sent Jennifer an email. <laughs> okay. Um, she wanted the head of security wanted to meet. So I, I have a meeting set up Thursday okay. at one thirty. I think we're just going to try and confirm some dates for the exercise, and and uh, we'll probably do a tabletop before the actual exercise. So we'll just keep you in that loop. If you guys don't have anybody there, we'll let you know when the next meeting is. And Absolutely, and then I'll meet with him Thursday yeah. to see. Perfect. And that's it. Dispatch. Um, Nobody's. We still need a tool. It's been a year. <laughs> I know. Uh, animal control. They're not here. No. And uh, code enforcement. Just business as usual. Weeds are starting to grow. We're getting on that. And um, fin putting the finishing touches up at the building. So. Okay. Yeah, the building's nice. If you haven't been through, please come over and take a look at it. It's nicer. I like the way it's all service and work. Okay. Anything else in it from anyone else? Public? Sponsors? All right, then I say we adjourn. Our next meeting is July 18th, 2023. Yeah. Any questions online? Oh, sorry. Any more questions online other than the camera? Okay. We adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yeah.
this. So I don't know what's a food pharmacy. You used making use of the pharmacy. Oh, so you got rid of your cat? I got, yeah. I got one of them. <laughs> I was like, oh, we can take pets there and they'll stop. Joe was them. helping at the farmer's market and Megan was there with the animals and then somebody went to look at him and comes. Then yeah. 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 yeah.